kindled one. The fire fades and awaits its one last reward. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Yeah, so uh, magicked away from Anor Londo, sadly. Um, Got to go back for it to get the Sun Princess Ring um, in, Gwyn in Guinevere's room that's totally empty. Um, I'm going to cow it out, by the way, and I'm uh, going to go change because I'm not fighting Dancer like this. Um, I'm ill-prepared with this setup. So um, good to know I did the respect glitch just for one fight. Uh, meanwhile, here's Emma. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be a law. Base in the vows. And some souls. Thank you, Emma. Base in the vows. Chalice used in old ceremony in which Lothric knights take their vows. It is it is only a form oh, formality now, but it remains an empty practice. Place this basin at a statue of a beheading knight, which is right there. All right, well, might as well level up. Um, I'll just point out the other shit. Um, Shiva's ashes got us. The Eastern is ashes, including that ring, and well, I kind of alluded to it, but to just be more explicit, yeah, we can buy Light's Titanite now. Fucking woohoo. This makes my job way easier. Oh, we, we get a single scale and some refined gems. Guess, uh, th th uh, guess Shiva was a quality build. So I'm going to farm up his armor, as same with Lortrex and Enries. I'll, um,. Oh yeah, we got Smogs as well, from killing Aldrich. You know, oh, Smoke was a can cannibal, Aldrich was a cannibal, then turned into Sludge. Uh, this is the ring, a special ring crafted in an eastern land. It is made from metal, but with a wood grain crest on its surface. Slows equipment degradation. Wielders of swords or originating in the same region follow a practice of inscribing special words on the blades and are naturally drawn to this ring. Right, so let's just grab some levels. Doesn't matter what I pop them into because I'm respecking. So we got two levels. I'll buy some shit. All right, I'll see you at a dancer. Then I've got some stuff I want to clean up with. Um, what's some cool armor to get? Yeah, the Eastern leggings are very cool for like ninja looking outfits too. Or oh, you know, mixing it with this and Morn set. I really like the Aristocrat's Mask. Pairs really nicely with Morns. Anyway, I'm going to be heading back to Rosaria's. Um, see you on the other side. And I'm back to my usual look. Can't use the bonfire though. Now we can. Yeah, so our uh, Hazel went a little too far. So now we have duplicates. And a duplicate Hazel pick, I believe. Yeah, very neat. Anyway, I can attune this at least. That's right, I've gone a little further. So, I've taken one of my vit, and this has worked out perfectly. Yep. Cool. Bold Heave's not going to be of great use during this boss fight coming up, but besides the point. Um, I'm going to have to go back and redo my Estus, so I'll just cut that out, and I'll see you a dancer. So I just got tagged by um, one of the spear dickheads 
so I decided to pop this on. Something I didn't read. So you get that from the second, uh, uh, Deeper Cursed, that's the names. Right. So yeah, FP and HP. Right, let's do this. Might as well pop this on. Alright, so, Dancer is pretty rad. She's incredibly weak to two things. One is dark, one is bleed. So let's see how this goes. Oh, how timely. Right, so I believe the lore is, there was a dancer that uh, Sullivan took. Um, well, there was a knight, I believe it was, or just a really strong female warrior. And decided, nah, you're going to be my dancer from now on. And thus she became this weird, like, kind of lizard looking lady. <laughs> right, she's probably going to go for it in a sec. So, as you can see, we are fucking her over quite amply with the bleed. For star points. Yep, and you just roll into that. I'm gonna get hit, don't worry. So I'll show off some of the moves because I'm fucking decimating her because of bleed. So she'll go for that long range poke, followed up by that one. Yep. She is a roll catch boss. Even more so than Hogger. Let's just heal up. It's like one or two more moves, so if you get really far away, she'll typically go for a jump. She's also got that. Um, her armor's pretty sick, by the way. That's the fire. So she's got to spin out after that. This is one of the bigger combos, using a slam. Alright. Enough of that shit. So at low level, you just get like a blood bandit knife, or a dark hand, and just punch her in the rear. You punch her in the Jill Valentine. Cause, <laughs> cause in retrospect, Capcom love those fucking shots in Remake 2, and I guess Revelations 1. Alright, now for real, let's pop it down. Alright, so I touched on this back in part 2. And I know it's part two, because I've actually fucking edited that shit, and that'll be uploaded tomorrow. <laughs> well, that'll be live tomorrow. Um, so yeah, um, this knight used to trigger a staircase. Um, that would appear, um, in the wall, from the wall behind us. Made a little more sense than this cool ceremonial thing to just end in, well, what's about to happen. I mean, this part's cool. Yep. Now, I swear they present the ladder being higher than it really was. Because from when we fucking looked at that in part two, and just before... I could have fucking reached that with a lucerne, goddammit. Anyway, I would love to go ahead, but there's a good chance we'll get invaded, even though we're just running to that bonfire there. Um, I imagine Consume... Yeah, Consume King's Garden is next on the agenda. Also, yeah, I'm kind of surprised by this. Um, that'll be what a... Fucking hell. Are people coming back early for Return to Lothric? <laughs> What the hell? That's meant to start on the 13th, apparently. And even then, that'd be the 14th for me, I guess. Um, wow. Or maybe people are just playing because, oh, Elden Ring. Oh, uh, yeah. A dancer's armor's pretty cool. Let's have a look. 
I'll be farming up for this. I'd rather just get levels for now. Yep. Oh, something glitched out big time. The mirage-like uh, aurora borealis veil is said to be an article of the old gods, permitted only for the direct descendants of the old royal family. Yep. Eventually, the black eyes turned her into a beastly creature, her armor fusing with her own hide. Same thing there and there. Um, I'll farm up all this armor later on, like I just said. I'd rather just get some levels for the meantime. There is one thing we should go by. Um, at this point, fuck it. I think we'll get that extra point of bit back. We'll get that point of dex. See, now we're going proper dex build. Right, so there's this. Budding green blossom. So, this is a large temporary boost of stamina. But there's something different about this one. It's got a brief attached message. Goodbye, dear grandmother. I will visit my grandfather in the pit. I will visit grandfather. My bad, I fucked that up. Anyway, two things we are going to do before I quit. First of all, road of sacrifices. No, if there's an item I miss because I'm an idiot and I've missed it every playthrough, it's not that. This is just the faster way to get up to the giant. Our giant's been dead for a while. We got all the... Well, I don't know why I say we... I grabbed all the branches ages ago and I got the Saint Tree Belvine. So, dude is dead. Nice, well, there's the texture work, though. Oh, oh. I wonder if you run fast enough. Can you glitch out everything? Hmm. I don't know if it's possible to go fast enough so shit doesn't load properly. Um, so yeah, Giant's gonna be dead, which means the Hawk Ring will be ours. And then I've gotta head over to where we killed Greatwood. Because, as the message said, I will visit Grandfather at the Pit of Hollows. Try dash. Unless it's not fucking door dash. Fuck that ad. Hey, side hustles. In quote, unquote. Pay your workers properly, you fucks. Get your door dash shit out of here. Alright, you know what? This might actually be faster than running through properly. Alright. So, if he's gonna be... If he's alive, I'm gonna be fucking shocked. No. Block ring. Friend. Ah, it's a rear. Let me guess. No, okay. Just expecting something else. Sorry, friend. Wish I could take your bow. Right. Well, we're going this way. Also, yeah, um, I don't know if you noticed, but the sky kind of changed. Hmm. So this will give me something to talk about on the way. Uh, there was more... There was meant to be way more to this system... Um, initially, it was... Well, it's basically Bloodborne's whole um, nighttime progression, I guess you'd call it. Um, how the game gets further and further along. Well, time progresses in-game. So, it gets a little darker by the time you kill Gascoin. Um, and then eventually, you know, leads up to the Blood Moon after Rom. Yeah, that kind of shit. Um... Lance McDonald managed to find out ages ago, this is a fucking old video, this is like 2019, that there were meant to be the serpents like Carf and Frampt um, flying in the sky. It was never finished as a concept, but it looked fucking cool, even unfinished and untextured. Sure, but one sec, one sec, let's just do this. Alright, and we can get rid of this and this, and let's pop you on. Yeah, um... Hmm. Might have tied into that whole system where... What was it? There was some sacrificial type of ritual you could perform. I guess it was meant to be like the world tendency of the game. Anyway, I'm shutting up. I finally found you. Just as I promised Remember? So, Hodrick does a lot of damage. You can also stun lock him with this if you know what you're doing. Boulder Heave is exceptionally good for this kind of shit. Also, we're about to get my favorite armor in the whole game. So that's rad. Don't want to get parry champed by Hod. Yep. Weapon up. Parry champ Hodrick. Yep. 
Yeah, so kind of sad. We're uh, at the part where he can't figure out he can't drink. And I'm only doing it like this because, well, Cirrus is quite fragile. Good night, Granddad. So I don't actually know what buff she put on herself. Magic barrier, I guess? Kind of weird, because Hodrick doesn't have magic. Well, magic damage. I think that's got to be the barrier. Well, it's not flash flood, that's for damn sure. He only has warmth and power within. Apparently someone said they've seen him cast another spell, but who knows, it's probably bullshit at this point. Um, given I know this game fairly well, and I've never seen him do anything bar warmth and power within. Right. Fun. Game really struggles to load all this in. So yeah, catacombs were meant to be this way, um, leading to Walnir. But alas. So yeah, I still don't know what would have been at the end of, um... End of, um, Irithyll Dungeon in that case. Hmm. Anyway, sunset set. Oh, we are sorting by weight. Armor of Hodric, Holy Knight of the Sunless Realms. This light gold armor, named for its sunset hues, is now faded and wrapped in tainted rags. The sorry fool was known to wander the battlefield as a crazed ghoul, lashing out at friend and foe alike. Now, as far as I'm concerned, Alva Helmet, Sunset Armor, yep, we're pretty good. I can change this to anything else, maybe not that. <laughs> Basically anything else, and it's going to look fucking sick. Um, probably change this to something like... Let's just see. I mean, old reliable. The pyro stuff is always good because of its poise. Something, something like this always looks good. Yeah, maybe not that. Fuck. I'm. That'll suffice. Oh well. Hey, there's my message. It's actually garnered a lot of likes. Cool. All right, I'll fashion it up off camera. But yeah, that's all I had to do. Um, other than grab one thing and have one more conversation. We definitely don't have enough to, um, you know, to facilitate a level, so... Right, hey Cirrus, I will not weapon art you, I swear. I might boulder heave you, but I hope not. Alright. Oh, and yeah, I've been positioning the camera forward because... Fucking, okay, sure. Um, anyway, I've been, been positioning the camera this way because I've noticed when edi editing... Having, uh, having the character's audio on the right channel only, or mostly, sounds pretty shit. Anyway, I'm shutting up. Oh, there you are. I'm afraid I've involved you in my affairs over a little promise at that. My sincerest thanks for your assistance. At last, my grandfather will rest in peace, and I can die. But there is one last. May I take a vow to serve you as a knight. Oh, I am most grateful. I, Cirrus, do hereby serve as your faithful knight. Wherever, whenever I am needed. My loyalty shall never waver. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. If I may ever be of assistance, I am your knight forever and true. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. True waifu after all, I guess. So, um, I'm not sure if it's like a proper bug, but I'm pretty sure even from this point, in 2021, in June 2021, if you join up with Leonhard over there now, Cirrus will still be pissed. So, um, at this point, if you really want to join the Ring Fingers and have his shit for like a couple of bosses, you can kill her and you'll get everything anyway. Um, you just have to buy her armor instead. But you still get, like, the talisman and all that. If you're really impatient to uh, cosplay as a Bloodborne character. So, in our case, we're doing that after Twin Princes. Alright, one last thing we got to grab. Maybe I will go full pyro at the, um, at, at the archives. I'll get the uh, Witch's Locks and just go full on fucking pyro. Now, I don't have Lucatil's Mask. But if I had that, uh, had the Hollow Slayer, I could cosplay it pretty damn well right now. 
because the Sunset Shield is the mirror shield from DS2. Shield of the Holy Knights of the Sunless Realms, engraved with a brilliant flame crest that burns brightly within the Order's customary sunset colors. This design symbolizes those who both harbor and oppose the power of the flame. It's pretty right. I like it. Still, sticking with this for souls. Um, anyway, last thing I was going to mention fucking ages ago. I'm wondering if, um, initially Cirrus was meant to be up against the Aldrich Faithful and that kind of just got changed. Or maybe that was back when they were working with the whole idea of, um, you know, Dark Moons being Dark Moons and Blue Sentinels being Blue Sentinels. Because that would make a lot more sense fighting the Reds. But at this point, I don't know, it doesn't quite make sense a Dark Moon Knight, which apparently she's not, according to Yorska's dialogue. Unless she left, which would make sense given Dark Moon Blade. Um, but I was thinking, maybe... Maybe. I might be a dumbass for coming to this realisation now, or stating it this fucking late, rather. Um, could have been Hodrick. Given what it says. Could have been Hodrick. But anyway, I've got the armour I want. I'm pretty happy with this build. I'm going to go farm some shit. Um, consume King's Garden next. And then I guess... I think we'll do Untended Grace and then Lothric Castle proper. Lothric Castle, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out later. But yeah, it's um, Consume King's Garden next for that extra Estus Flask. Anyway, I'm done. My thanks to lead into a stupid um, edit. I'll make it the end of the video, I guess, because I'm doing that quite a bit. Anyway, thanks for tagging along, etc, etc. If I uh, didn't do anything, I'll just say thank you for sticking around even though you're probably here for Astral Chain. Bye.